In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use an external middleware. In the last video, I mentioned that the Redux Logger external middleware is a really popular middleware, and it's actually really easy to use. Let's go ahead and delete the current middlewares we've got in our code. So we're gonna delete the error and the logger middleware. And we'll remove those from the apply middleware function. So our code now has no middlewares whatsoever. To use the Redux logger middleware, the first thing we need to do is to install it. So head on over to your terminal and npm install dash dash save to add it to your package.json and then just install redux dash logger. That will go ahead and install in a second. Now we can run npm start to start our server again and head on back over to the code. So the first thing we need to do when using an external Redux middleware is to import that middleware. Go ahead and import logger from redux-logger. And that will give us the Redux logger middleware in the variable logger. And then as you know, all we need to do is just pass that middleware to our apply middleware function. So if you go ahead and save that, check that the webpack has bundled correctly in the terminal and head on over to your browser, refresh, and then click a button, you'll actually notice that nothing happens. And the reason nothing happens is because when you import an external middleware, when you pass that middleware to the apply middleware function, you often but not always need to invoke that middleware. So we need to invoke the logger middleware. We need to invoke the Redux logger. So go ahead and invoke that logger function when we pass it to apply middleware. Save that, head on back over to your browser, refresh and click a button and you'll see that our state increases and that we get a nicely formatted logger telling us an action has happened and what that action is, the time it happened, the previous state, the action, and then the next state in a nice formatted clean way. So that's just a quick video on how you use an external Redux middleware. If you liked this video or any other of the videos I've done, I've got a small favor to ask you. I really appreciate it if you could either like, share, comment, or subscribe as it really helps me and my channel out. Thanks and I'll catch you in the next video.